from the very interpolating and moving testimonies we have heard, it seems that the key question is, are there good victims or bad victims? Thirty years ago, uh, the best book about the U.S. media was written by Edward Herman and Noam Chomsky. It was called Manufacturing Consent. They were analyzing very concretely the international affairs coverage by the main U.S. media. And a key concept was good victims and bad victims. Tatiana, you told us that you have made 17 interpolations and without results. If you had made an interpolation about the good victims, for example, the victims assassinated by the previous government, let's suppose, then you would have been each day in the media and everybody here would know about that. So, what is the most in interpolating for us is why some events are covered and even invented or distorted and why some events, there is no Belgian or French mainstream journalist here. Neither three months or a few months ago uh, about this very important investigation about Odessa. The only French journalist, Morera, who made a very courageous film about this was lynched and he was really forced to silence. So this is not an isolated event where an inquiry could come. It is actually just an effect of a policy decided a long time ago. If you write to a decisive book by Zbigniew Brzezinski in 97, I think, called The Grand Chess Board, he explained that it is the mission to control the, the mission of the USA to keep the control of the world, and for that they need to divide what he's calling the vassals. And the key method in Ukraine, he writes in 97, is we have to take the control of Ukraine, because if we have an axis... Germany, France, Poland, Ukraine, then we control all Eurasia and we can isolate Russia. And he even says this needs to happen in 2004 approximately, and you had an attempt, failed in Kiev, and if not later, and ten years later, it was a success. So when I'm hearing these testimonies and investigations about the sniper's technique, this already happened in Caracas when you had a coup d'etat against Chavez in 2002. You had indeed attention and demonstrators against Chavez and demonstrators for Chavez. They were separated by buildings and more than one kilometer. The demonstration was, approach, was approaching and suddenly you have died people shut down in both manifestations at the same time while it is impossible that they shoot on themselves. So this is a CIA technique. And when the coup failed, suddenly all the snipers from the top buildings, I was there in this place in Caracas, you have high buildings so it's possible to shoot on both sides and on policemen. By, by a chance, two days after the coup, all the snipers went back to the USA. So this is a technique and the problem, the media didn't cover this in Europe or in the USA, so it happens again. And if we don't do something about this, it will happen again, because it is, of course, a very efficient technique. So the big question for us is not to expect about the media to speak about this, because war is also war of information, so the truth is dangerous about this, and people may not have questions. The citizens may not have questions about what happened in Ukraine. So I think the only possibility for us is to build together an independent network of information about this. I think it is the responsibility of the member of the parliament here present and the citizens and the independent journalists and all people around here to make this known more than only here during a working day for the specialists who are aware. 
I would suggest to organize a public inquiry commission like we had in Brussels with the Russell Tribunal about Vietnam in the, 60, in the 70s or the Brussels Tribunal about the war of Iraq in 2003. I would suggest to make that. These videos that we saw, we really need to have as many possible uh, translations in many languages and uh, an important circulation on Internet. We need to make interpolations of the officials here that the facts are very clear, that the investigation is blocked, that it is a sabotage, and we really need to mobilize uh, the citizens about this because the leaders know and don't, or don't want to know. We will uh, try to make with the two or three guests an, uh, an interview here on the video in the studio of this building at 5 o'clock. Then I would like to call everybody here to help us to build this uh, network of real information so that the bad victims can become good victims. Thank you.